When sailing to the Bahamas, my autopilot broke. I managed to fix it, but I wanted to find a backup for my autopilot. I learned about sheet to tiller and used it on my trip from the Bahamas to Guatemala. Here's the story of that journey. After reaching Livingston, I checked into Guatemala and found a dock to write a book on sheet to tiller and pull the decaying diesel out of Mirage. So I removed all the bolts and I disconnected the shaft back there. So I should be ready to pull what's left of the motor. I'll do it tomorrow. So the engine is all loose at the moment. I hooked up my main sheet. With the help of Tim and Pamela on the schooner Pamela Ann, I was able to get a mainsail cut for Mirage. During this time I met my friend Elwa and volunteered for a math and physics teaching position in Punta Brava. My experience in Punta Brava has opened my eyes to some things that may have been swept to the side in modern, fast-paced society. There are still horses walking the streets here, and the community has a bond that I have not witnessed before, with each member contributing their piece to the whole. I was amazed at how much rain could fall in such a short amount of time, and the level of Lake Isabel rose a few feet in a matter of days. They wanted me to teach math in a practical way in order to show the kids different applications of math. The school is built using bamboo, so I thought it would be good to have the students build model bamboo bridges. Once the bridges were built, it was time to test them. We used my main sheet block and tackle to multiply the weight of water in a jug. In this way, we had an accurate method for measuring the breaking strength of the bridges. <laughs> <laughs> While I was helping build bridges, Elwa volunteered to help teach music to the students. One of the students, Anthony, wants to build a YouTube channel with his music when he gets more of it recorded. Elwa was curious about sheet to tiller, and we spent two days sailing to see how it would work on a wheel. His boat uses wheel steering, so it was a good time for me to test sheet to wheel steering. There will be a video specifically about this experience in the upcoming weeks. When I wasn't working on the boat or teaching, I went to explore the area. I found that at the entrance of Lake Isabel, there is a Spanish castle called Castillo de San Felipe. It was placed there because it's at the narrowest point in the river. It was used by the Spanish for centuries and was looted several times by pirates.
So I woke up early, left Punta Brava, and I'm headed to the Rio Dulce now. And then um, once I get there, I'm gonna get a bus ticket to Guatemala City, and I may go to Antigua. But I gotta get my boat put up um, in Cayo Quemado. I have some friends there, and they have a dock, and um, I'm gonna keep my uh, boat on their dock. There's the neighborhood frigate bird saying goodbye. I won't see him for another month or so. So I'm in Cayo Quemado. I just um, got on the dock yesterday. It's been raining a lot, so I have everything torn apart, getting ready to uh, head back home for a little while. So I did all of my laundry. This is every bit of clothes on the boat that I own. And now I've got to wait for it to dry. It rained all day yesterday, so it never got dry. Hopefully it dries so I can leave tomorrow. Got all kinds of junk all over the boat. Cleaning out everything, trying to reduce the uh, amount of mold that's going to become part of the boat. So I've removed everything and the boat's ready for me to leave. So tomorrow I'll take a um, lancha with Mike. He's a guy that has a restaurant here in Punta Brava. And I'll go to um, Rio Dulce, and then it's a six-hour bus ride to Guatemala City. So, thanks for watching.